secondary, of course, Greg Brown's back, and, and uh, you know he's a very important guy back there. He's a leader, and, and Courtney Ledyard in the first ball game had 12 tackles, which is uh, you know is, is a good day's work, good hard day's work for a linebacker. And uh, you know up front, you know Derek Ham, you know he's played some last week. He'll play a lot more this week. He's been out with a broken hand, but he you know he should be a, a, a dominant pass rusher like we expect him to be. And, uh, you know, Corey Callens, we expect a lot out of up front, who's a veteran from last year. Quarterbacks, um, last week we had some guys that were wide open and missed them, and that's the opportunities I was talking about when I said we missed some chances to, to make some plays. And, uh, you know, because we're a physical football team, and we're going to get up there and try to knock it down Berlin's throat, and uh, they're going to put a lot of guys up there, and when they do, we're going to throw that sucker deep, and we got to hit them. They do a great job about Berlin Thunder with the draws and screens, you know, and, and uh, overall their passing game is very good, you know. Um, Burris is, uh, not only can he throw, but he's he's very active and moves around, can get out of trouble, and uh, their receivers, 81 and 5, and, and you know, they are very good, and Heckenbeck had a hell of a game last week, cut a touchdown pass, made another uh, real good run with the ball, physical, ran over some people, so... You know, and their running backs have done a good job. We hadn't tackled full speed in over two weeks at that time, you know, because we hadn't scrimmaged in a, in a long time, but neither had Amsterdam. So, you know, uh, hopefully we can overcome that today. I, I, our players were aggressive and they were physical, but, uh, you know, we, we just missed some, you know, we missed some tackles we should have made. In the first half, when we... Uh Sacked the quarterback and they fumbled the ball and we picked it up and ran it all the way down and fumbled it again. But that could have really changed the whole thing in the ball game because that would have made the score at that time. If they would have scored when they were down there, they'd have went up 10 to 7, I believe. Am I correct with that? The second half, they got the ball down in there in our territory and it's inside the 20-yard line and we forced them into a field goal and uh, you know they. Had a bad kick and missed it. That was a very key play also. And at the end of the game, when we had to stop him, we stopped him.